101 FM here and welcome to a little experiment. George Benji's got this little formation that has been used on his new Thames FC series. I say new, he's been he started in like January sometime. He's got this new formation, that's definitely new, and his latest episode. Latest episode as I'm recording this anyway. I'm not sure how long this is gonna to take to edit. But it's called Libero Loving. Basically, He's got Libero, not using fullbacks. I'll show you the formation in a little bit, but just wanted to leave it out in the background. But anyway, basically, I'm gonna in this like mini series, we're gonna be going through formations. Firstly, it was this one. I've got a couple more formations lined up, but if you guys got any formations on this new workshop or just any formations that you want me to do in general, then leave them in the comments. But anyway, let's get into this. And let's do this. Firstly, I'll do a little bit of groundwork. Firstly, if the lighting looks a bit weird. My light's a bit orangey. I've got this light here right next to me, which, yeah. I think it looks better on, if I'm honest. And, yeah. Anyway, we're starting this save with Leicester. I won the Premier League a couple of years ago. I was thinking about doing it with a couple of other sides, but anyway, I'm not sure even why I chose Leicester to be honest. They've got decent wingers, and I'm not sure that probably applies to Dr. Benji's save. His best player is probably a striker, and can't really say about that. But anyway, let's get into the transfer business. As you can see, we've sold both our main fullbacks. Danny Simpson to Southampton for 10.75 million. And Christian Fuchs to Everton for 6.75 million. Red Maris to Real Madrid, 32 million, rising to 45.5 million. You know, Red Maris. And if he wasn't going to lose to Real Madrid, he was just going to bring the club down with him. So, not very good. And Harvey Barnes, just a youngster, went out on loan to Millwall. You can probably sign better players than I have and probably get better deals than I have. But with playing attacker midfielders, unless I have like one attacker midfielder in Okazaki and I'm not sure he counts as an attacker midfielder. So I brought in Stephen Davis. He's a decent midfielder. I'm not really focusing on the players, but I needed players that are kind of natural to the position. We're only doing one season, so having a 32 year old didn't really matter. The main problem with this save is finding Liberos. This is the second best libero I could find in the whole game that was interesting coming. Filippo Scaglia was playing in the Serie B last season. And the season before was playing in the Serie C. So you can kind of tell the struggles I'm having. And then Danilo was the best one I could find. He's 33. He's not more of a sweeper to be honest. Training him in libero. Surely being a sweeper should be have a bit used to it, but he's not natural in the libero. He's a bit better. I got Scaggly in for this first game of the season, just because he's a bit, bit better suited to the role. Um, other players, we needed some uh, defensive cover. Brought in Andrea Ragnocchia from Inter Milan. Did have a pretty awful season. I loan a hole, I remember him last season. And then Ben Gibson from the championship. Who him and Harry Maguire should be our formation for our <laughs> our two starting centre backs along with a sweeper. Hopefully they can get a couple of headers, their English partnerships. Anyway, let's have a look at this formation then. I'm kind of training every player that's in their position, I'm trying to get them a bit natural. The formation already realises that major issue. It's worth pointing out that fullbacks is not currently selected. Yep, that's probably the whole point of it. So this libero loving, sacking flexible, and the instructions pass into space. Player defence, work ball into box, close down left and get stuck in. All you have to do for this is press that, go on load, and you got loads. These are some of the other formations that I'm going to be using. Lelujo, Benji. Golden FM, the two from Golden FM, one from the Reckonist, and may may see some video spoilers in there, but won't be for a while because we are doing a whole season. But anyway, 
gonna show you probably one game in this episode just to make sure it's not too long gonna be doing a whole season just to show you how good the formation works and whether it's worth doing in the first place just so you guys don't really have to waste your season i'm doing this so you can see i'll take you through the friendlies quickly not too bad in fairness i don't recognize any of them teams except for cape town c they're all pretty bad teams a bit of confidence boosters and little notice, notice that i got is we're not keeping clean sheets which probably isn't the best thing but anyway everton what transfers have they done literally just brought in fuchs and loaned three players out so anyway there's a couple of rules with this um thing for basically the only rule is we can't change the formation or any of the roles we can change players like i can sub in ranocchio if i wanted to but not changing the formation or anything and but second rule is season finishes either when i finish the season or when i got sacked if i get sacked it probably won't be the best thing to show you that formation doesn't work but anyway Let's get into this first game against Everton. Right then, kicking off now. We are in 2D. My computer can't handle 3D. And that might need to be a little quicker than this. What camera height? Slightly faster. Or Brighton's just... What well, looks like he's been hacked down for, by Schneiderlin. Referee's not really going to do anything though, is he? Indeed, he was a free kick. Can't really tell if the formation's working if we're just going to bang in a free kick, but... Not really what happened. What's happening? Bane's free kick. It is an updated database. Isn't an updated database. So Madison could get him in because he's just on a new contract. Same with Gazelle. I think he recently joined actually. Shining to Sigurdsson. And even though he was offside, that was still pretty dangerous. Right then. Retaining possession is a bit of a problem and to start the series off. In fairness, Everton are probably one of the sides that we're probably not going to get a result of if we're using the formation or maybe even a normal formation. Davis, it's just dilly down on the ball to be honest. Schneidling, Rooney to Tosun, to back to Rooney to Walcott on his right hand side. You can tell Winger is going to be a bit of a problem in this save. Sigurdsson, Walcott, shoots, it just carries off. It looks like Ben Gibson. It's just all Everton at the moment. It's probably a bit better for him because he's probably one of the. He's got a load of magical players. Like, I don't have a Ben Hur. Rio Maros was my Ben Hur. And. Yep, yeah, I've seen that coming to be honest. Theo Walcott, he's a winger. We don't have fullbacks. That track wingers. I mean. My opinion for this save is we're going to have trouble playing against teams that have wingers. And if we don't have wingers, I think we might actually do quite well. But anyway, you're on the attack now. I mean, if you can't do throw-ins, that's a bit of a problem. You need to screw that one up. Adrian Silva or Brighton across long as you can see. I think my problem is I've got better wingers than he does, so my wingers might be a bit more involved. Whereas attacking midfielders are a lot better than mine. So his attacking midfielders are more involved, if you get what I mean. That's exactly what we need. Mark or Brighton injured. We don't even have another player to come on. Um, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Um, we literally just got strikers and midfielders on the bench. Problem with this formation. Oh god. Better not be a bad injury. I mean, Matty James can sort of play, like, play as a winger. I mean, I'll have to do. At least for the rest of this game. Injury to one of our wingers is not exactly great when we have like two at the club. Highlight here, one in back, but we're just giving it straight back to him. Sigurdsson leads the attack for Everton. Oh my god, wingers again. Walcott cross. Rooney this time is saved by Schmeichel. I think Theo Walcott, especially with his pace, is just completely ruining our left hand side. I think we might have Maguire on that side. He's not the quickest of players and. Theo Walcott is just ruining him, him every time. Just bringing on Ian Atcho. He's a bit more, uh, bit more suited to the advanced forward position. Jimmy Vardy is out of 6.3. I 
not playing very well. In fact, that's not exactly giving him very much opportunity. He's just giving the ball away as soon as you get it back. Rooney this time, I mean, crossfield ball to Walker. He's just got all the time in the world. And I don't even know if Singleton's not scored that. He's just hit the post. Pacey hit man off four. Just striker. Pickford's just doing what he wants, to be honest. Our wingers aren't even t going back with him. I mean, we have got a winger who doesn't really like defending and a central midfielder. So, probably not the best, let's be honest. Where was that long ball going? Jagielka to Keane to Walcott. Not really pressurising them, are we? Rooney to Tosan. I think they've just got a bit more quality than us. Just, they just know where our weaknesses are and they're exploiting them every single time they get the ball. Just switched off of the Liberos. Felipe Scalias come off forward Danilo. I've actually got something doing now. And Iannaccio's just giving the ball away. I say Iannaccio, I don't think Indeedy actually went for it. Indeedy on the ball now to Stephen Davis. Shot, Pickford just tips it out for a corner. We all know what happens to corners. Actually going to commentate over it. It's the first man, I mean. And it's just gone out of play. I mean, and people wonder why we don't commentate over him. It's hit the first man again. Matty James, Gibson. I mean, if we got an equaliser from our centre back squad from the edge of the box, I would be surprised. Sigurdsson, close to Rooney, back to Sigurdsson all the time in the world. Goes past Schmeichel. And there is 2 0. Definitely mean coming. I'm surprised it's not from a Theo Walcott. Well, it didn't really have an involvement to it. It was just them two doing exactly what they wanted. In fairness, it was completely spotting on the right side. I don't even... Yeah, it would be sick of playing left wing. Free kick from Walcott this time. Rooney into the box. Drops to Garnet Gay. Cross short to Sigurdsson. Walcott into the box to Garnet Gay. Just launches a shot off Sigurdsson and out for a throw in. Right down, Baines. 15 minutes left. Look, not looking like the formation's working, but... Against the bigger size, when we're not quite used to the formation, it might be a bit better. And Ian Acho is for own goal in our first real chance of the game. Hit the post one on one. First shot on target as well. In fairness, this formation was meant to be fun, and we're not having much fun, and we're not really having many shots either team, to be honest. Corner from Davies, almost since the first man, and that slabhead, Harry Maguire, from the World Cup, nearly replicated his World Cup scoring rate. But Headed over the bar. Indeed, he picks up the ball. Do we have a second shot on target? Maybe not. We're just trying long balls now, which is a little weird. Watching Dr. Benji's episode earlier, I didn't see any long balls whatsoever. I've seen like one from Ben Hur, but that was just a lob ball over the defence. Anyway, first episode, and that episode didn't really get to plan, to be honest. In fairness, we had a ninja. Oh, great, two to three months. Had an injury. Couple debuts, we're not really used to the team. Dynamics aren't exactly great to be honest. Match cohesion is pretty average. Hopefully, in a couple games, might come back for I'll think of something, but come back for a bit of an experimental period. Show you if it's going well, I'll show you, and if it's going quite badly, I'll show you. If it's going a bit patchy, I might just leave it until big games, just see how it does. Maybe show you a big game. Maybe Man City, Crystal Palace, a uh, title contender on a lower league team. Just show it how you how the formation does against different teams. Couldn't get the words out then. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I expect for the next episode of I can't remember what the formation is called. Libero loving.